All right, spawning at the top side, the purple Zerk. <coughs> it's gonna be this game sucks from Team AT. And on the bottom side, who do we have? On the bottom side, we do have the green Zerg. It is going to be Avendesora. <laughs> oh, that's you said that with a sort of French or Spanish accent. That was, that was I don't. Amazing. Yeah, I, I think it's. I don't know. The the name just kind of looks kind of Spanish. Looks kind Avendesora. Of Avendesora. <laughs> We do see it's going to be a ZVZ for our first matchup, and um, some some strange talking going on already. Good luck, have fun, I guess, from uh, from the green guy. He is called Liquid, by the way. I don't think he is in Team Liquid, but no, probably is not. Um, I would, I like, I I know that Blizzard has a policy of you can name yourself whatever you want, but I would really like if they would restrict clan tags to only be one of a kind because then it makes it kind of confusing when you have a lot of clans bearing the same tag in um in the beta for hots you could only have one tag because someone that uh, was re being really funny made a clan called mid and called it haha odin so <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny that's not funny it is it is funny and I was like, I hope that that plan gets deleted in the real game because else I'm gonna have a really big problem. Uh, by the way, it's gonna be 15 pool for both of these players, so going to be opening safe. Uh, at the beginning, no hatches first, no early pools either, so no crazy aggression, but very safe build from both of these guys. And it looks like Avendosora, you can say it so much more better, but um, it's gonna scout out and see what's going on. Yes, he is, and he will going to see. Uh, he's going to see the gas immediately. While it looks like, oh, maybe he wanted to go for a hatch after that pull, but he reconsidered when he saw that gas. So he's right now taking his uh, to not be too far behind uh, in the gas count. I don't really agree with this decision, though, because if you go for a pull and then a hatch and then a gas, it's perfectly viable. You can defend versus uh, versus pull gas builds if you know how. So I think this is a little bit of a panic move uh, by our green Zerg player here. Yeah, well, it's actually not that bad if you start your gas a little bit later because if the speed kicks in like yeah. um, 10 seconds later, it's not that much of a big deal. But if, if it kicks in a minute later, then it can be very bad. You can get your queen sniped off and the opponent's going to get so much free scouting information as well. Yeah, so the first first links are out on the map. Uh, Avendesora is going to take his natural hatchery as well as his opponent. So they are timed approximately the same. Uh, interesting thing, Avendesora is behind a little bit on workers, just by a couple of seconds. And we see the scouting drone being picked off by the queen. Um, well, He's nothing. actually going to lose an overlord here, uh, Bell. Look at that. Oh my That's god, really he big. is. That's he is this early in the game. That will actually supply block him there for uh, uh, for a moment. He already started production on uh, his next overlord, but he's going to have to make another one because if he doesn't, then he won't be able to make very many units. Uh, just three supply will be available. So that's just what one queen and a zergling, maybe a drone. Um, well, not good news going into this game for Avendasora. Yeah, that's a really bad beginning. Now we do see that he's gonna have his second queen poop some creep and go to the expansion. That's nice, connecting the two bases. And this game sucks. It's doing the exact same thing. Why would you call yourself this name? Game sucks, by the way. That's I have no freaking idea. And we see this game sucks is getting a very very fast layer, uh, followed by an additional gas in his main base and a mainling nest. So I think he's going to. I think he's actually going to put on, uh, not put on any pressure, he's just going to play defensively with uh, his banelings and he's going to rush Mutalisks as fast as possible. Now the tricky thing, if he decides to do this, of course, the tricky thing about this is that if your opponent gets a whiff of this, uh, he's just going to rush out as many units as possible and once your banelings are gone you're just going to die. Yep, already a lot of links coming out from uh, Avendosora at, at this point, actually. These banelings will be very uh, good in the defense against them, however, and there's also a spine crawler being constructed. I'm thinking these banelings are going to be used defensively. Mm, I wouldn't... I, I don't know, it just doesn't click with me and with what looks to be uh, this game sucks game plan to use those banelings offensively or in, a, in an offensive manner because... 
I just, I just, why would you get that fast of a layer? Oh. Yep. No, I mean. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's okay. Gonna... Now I see why. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be cool. He's, he's gonna start dropping banelings on top of armies. That's actually really good against Zerg opponents because you can get the Overlord speed in the first uh, stages. He didn't do that though. But if you research that from your uh, natural while upgrading into the layer, you can get really quick speed uh, drops. Speaking of which, he's just doing it now, and mm -hmm. uh, well. I think it's, yes, it should be timed so that it finished at exactly the same time. Alright, so we are seeing something very, very interesting by this game. Sucks already following this up with two Evo Chambers and what he's going to do is going to load up Banelings and try to drop the Mineral Line maybe. That would be, I think, the better decision than just to drop the Banelings on top of the Zerglings. Yeah, it uh, would be the better decision. We do still have a lot of links in production though by, uh, by the Green Zerg. Now, he, he, if he keeps like two or three banelings in the in the expansion and then uses the rest to drop the mineral lines, oh, this could do so much damage. It could. Uh, we have the lair almost finished for Alan de Sora, uh, so let's see what his tech choice will be. Uh, and you know, these days ZVZ is mostly about uh, the Mutaflox. Whoever has the most amount of wings usually wins. Uh, and now we see our purple Zerg moving out. Uh, it is spotted, of course, with the Overlord. So this may prompt more Zergling production. Ooh! Oh, that was a very good hit. That was right. a decent hit. <laughs> <laughs> a decent hit. I, I, yeah, that's that's a mild way to put it. Meanwhile, we do have a Spire on the way as this game sucks. is moving into Amendasora's natural, but has to pull back because he just does not have the Zergling numbers. That baning did its job very, very, very well. Yep, and the first drop commencing from the top side right now. I don't know if it's going to get scouted out. I don't think so. Yeah, it is going to get scouted out, but the Zergling has the watchtower there. Well, if he if he doesn't react to this very, very quickly, it's going to be too late. And oh, look at this. So smart by the purple Zerg. He's pulling away his enemy's Zerglings so that they cannot kill the Banelings. Yep, oh, it's going to be a double oh. drop right now. First the natural and then the main base. So you see the first banelings loading out right here, and then we go to the main oh base, and you'll God. see more banelings. Ready? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> 70 drones have gone down, and that puts us at a advantage to uh, this game sucks. He is at 44 drones now versus 37. Now keep in mind, this is this is only a little bit of an advantage because he produced a lot of army beforehand so he put himself behind in drones intentionally and now uh, Aventasora is taking a third base but uh, this game sucks will have none of that and he will just force a cancel on this first seven mutas are out the spire for uh, purple zerk is lagging behind time wise um, as opposed to his opponent so well it all comes down to how much damage these first mutas for uh, Aventasora will be able to do if not much then I think this game sucks. We'll get back into this quite easily once his gas income from the third kicks in. Yeah, these mutas are gonna pop out, and he will be able uh, to make a lot of mutas. Actually, he's also starting the upgrade. Awkward choice and upgrades from both players. You usually get the, the defense upgrades, the carapace, because it's better in a muta against muta fight. But there's gonna be a, yeah, a muta advantage for the green zerg by five. Actually, that's a lot. But these rumbies, though. These rumbies. Uh, I mean, there are no Zerglings out for Aventasora. A lot of drones will go down. No queens here. That cuts into the production as well. And oh. there's PG. Aventasora knows he cannot defend versus this and cannot hold up versus this kind of pressure. So 1-0 for AT. 